How does meditating on the self of the inner body, the astral body, combine with love and devotion? Because when one meditates within the inner body, doesn't the form of the master, as you know it, disappear? How then can you have conversations with him and express your love and devotion? How does meditating on the self of the inner body, the astral body, combine with love and devotion? Because when one meditates in the inner body, doesn't the form of the master as you know it disappear? How then can you have conversations with him and express your love and devotion. We see the master, who we call perfect living master, outside with these eyes as a physical body. We see the same master inside with the inner eyes as the astral body, same form that we have. We express our love and devotion outside with the physical body, with the physical body outside. We express our love and devotion differently with, with our sense perceptions, the inner body, to the inner master. When we meditate and go beyond that, we do not disappear, nor does the master. The form of the body changes. So is the form of the master changes. The master is in the same causal form as we are, and love and devotion is expressed more easily than it can be done either in the physical or in the astral plane. And about conversation, how do we have conversation? We have conversation with each other and with the master in the physical plane through spoken language or maybe written language, email, text message, SMS, whatever method you choose, language. Here, if the master knows different language, we know different language, we have little problem. We have to use a translator. I have on my, on my iPhone translation, translation to 128 languages and I use that. People communicate with me in different languages, Slovenian language, Estonian language, Greek, Japanese language, two types of Chinese language. So when they communicate with me, I translate it with my help of a little device in my pocket and then I write the answer in my language and translate it back into their language and send it. Not always a good translation. <laughs> sometimes I translate back to see what they translated. It surprises me sometimes. But the recipients, recipients tell me we understand what you wanted to say. So I am happy. But do you know, this is not the only way we can communicate and have a conversation. Some people have a conversation with their friends through another method called telepathy. Telepathy means that you think in your mind something you want to convey to your friend. Your friend says, got the message. It has passed on wirelessly to your friend. This telepathic communication, I don't know if you have noticed, does not require a translator. I speak in English. My friend in Germany speaks only German, does not know English. I think of a message in English in my head. My German friends understand it in German. Where did the translation take place? In telepathic communication, it's very rare. Not everybody does it. And we try to do it, we fail. Then you don't try to do it, it happens. That means it is coming from somewhere else other than a physical self. So when we have telepathic communication, how does the translation take place no matter what the language? This, the question that I am now asking, how does it happen? The answer is inside you. Go to the very first level. 
and you will notice that you will automatically use telepathy no matter what language you have. It is coming from there. It's coming from inside. That when we have a telepathic thing, we are getting some part of our internal intelligence being used outside. We use so much of it outside, this is one of them. In that astral plane, you communicate with people telepathically. You can speak any language words, the other person understands their language, or you need not speak. You think other person understands, because not coming from the word you are speaking. How does this operate? Because language is merely putting into words something you want to say. The meaning is what you want to convey, not the language. So you know the meaning you want to say, you use your language. The meaning is conveyed, not the language. That is why it doesn't matter what language you are speaking. It's a great experience at the astral plane, where you will find how this telepathic communication takes place. Since that is normal, the conversation with your master takes place the same way. In the astral plane and same way in the causal plane, no words are uttered, the meanings are understood. That's the second part of the question.